So hello there guys and welcome to Student Meals. This episode is going to be slightly special. I've seen a lot of videos of garlic bread and grilled cheese combo, but I thought I'm going to go one step further. So today I'm going to show you how to make a grilled cheese garlic bread French toast. I hope that you enjoy this episode. So what you'll need is about two thick slices of white bread or the bread of your choice. One clove of garlic, which I've cut up into two pieces. A little bit of finely chopped parsley. A small handful of your favorite cheese that you like to use in a grilled sandwich. A little bit of a softened butter, one egg. And finally, this is optional, some pepper and some salt. So first of all, we're going to prepare the egg. Take a bowl and break your egg in there and give it a good whisk. Now I'm going to season it with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and give it another good mix. So to make it a bit more easy to dip our bread in there, I'm going to transfer the egg to a plate. And now we can start cooking. So first of all, we're going to make our French toast. A small difference from the original French toast is that I'm not going to be using any milk because I don't think milk will be a great combination with this sandwich. Feel free to try with milk if you're brave enough. And the other thing is that I'm going to fry only one side with the egg because the other side I will make into a garlic bread. So take a pan, put it on a fire, add some cooking oil or butter or whatever you like and let it get hot. So once the oil is nice and hot. Take your bread and dip it in the egg. Make sure it's well coated and then just fry it on one side. So now that the French toast is ready, it's time for the grilled cheese. So take your French toast with the egg side up and pick one and put your cheese on there. Can be a good layer because it's a grilled cheese, so there needs to be quite some cheese in there. This is optional, but I also like to add a little bit of parsley here and there. Then close the sandwich with the egg on the inside. And at this point, you basically have a grilled sandwich or yet to be grilled sandwich. Take your softened butter and spread it on the sandwich. Make sure to cover every bit of the bread. It doesn't have to be a thick layer, just a light coating. Now, there are two options at this point. You can either flip the sandwich and cover the other side, or you can start frying on this side and cover the other side in the pan. I like to do it that way because it's a bit less messy. So let's start frying. So again, take your pan and put it on a fire. Then put it on a medium, medium low fire and put in your sandwich with the butter side down. While the sandwich is starting to fry on one side, take some butter and cover the other side. So basically what you have to do now is fry the sandwich on both sides until the bread is golden brown. So once both sides are nice and golden brown and the cheese has melted, your sandwich is done. Transferred to a plate and now it's time for the last stage. I'm going to show you a little Russian hack that made grilled bread that more delicious in my childhood. And also the final step in this grilled cheese sandwich. The garlic! Instead of making the butter with the garlic and frying in it, that would have obviously burned the garlic, I'm just going to take the cut open side and rub it into the grilled cheese. Rub it until there is a nice layer of garlic on top. There we go. Flip it over and do the same for the other side. And now the finishing touch. I missed the plate. <laughs> a little bit of parsley on top. There we go. A grilled cheese garlic bread French toast. And then just cut it in two. And there you go. Nice, cheesy, eggy, garlicky goodness. And now, let's eat! Time for a test test! Oh my god, I can't wait. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> this is really just the best of three worlds. Garlic bread, awesome. Grilled cheese sandwich, awesome. And French toast, also awesome. If you're looking for a breakfast that is a little extra, I would definitely recommend you making this because it's just so good. So thank you guys for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. We certainly did. And as always, see you in the next one.